Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. Today, I am going to review the Nintendo 2DS. Now, when I bought this system, um, I cut out some of the gameplay footage of this system. But we're all, but we're all set up right now. I got the inter interface going. It looks like a normal sized mobile phone, basically. But... Uh, it's sort of like a Wii menu almost, except I changed it to black, um, because I like black. Uh, so, um, so this is the main menu of the system. Um, it's very decent. I like it a lot. Me Maker, me, oh yeah, there's a, there's a Me Maker on this, so I didn't know what to expect of this system. Um, yeah, so that is going to be really good if you're a Wii fan. If you own a Wii, then I should I highly recommend that you pick one of these things up because of the Me Maker because you know, if you're traveling or going downtown or going downtown New York, you can uh, search for 3DSs, uh, you can use Street Pass, um, which allows you to, um, go past other 3DS players, if they're, if the 3DS is still in a bag, it'll sense it, and it'll, and it'll sense the, uh, me holder of that device, and you can collect some, uh, information about that and get some fellow crewmates in the street plaza now the nintendo eShop the eShop is a very good uh, place to buy uh, games and videos and download videos all that cool stuff the uh, AR games, basically, uh, you hold a card down on the table and you play some AR games, um, and then you can take uh, pictures of trophies with uh, Mario and Samus. Face Raiders is uh, another ex ex exclusive title. Um, yeah, this game is like, it's so much fun, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, Activity Log, Nintendo Zone, System Settings, if you need help, like, uh, figuring out what's, like, wrong with your system, um, actually it's over here, Health and Warnings Information, uh, System Settings, there's also YouTube, Netflix, a very bad version of Minecraft. Smash Brothers 3DS demo version. There's also a demo version of the 3DS version of uh, Smash Brothers. So if you want to pick this up, uh, if you want to pick up Smash Brothers, I suggest that you try this version first before getting Smash Brothers. Um, I think I'm going to get Smash Brothers uh, for this thing someday. So. It's gonna be a good experience. Pokemon Shuffle. It's like a. It's like jewels only different. Nintendo Video, which is basically like, uh, if you need to keep up to date with Nintendo, here's a good uh, spot for it. Um, a racing game that I downloaded, and and we're back to the game screen. Um, okay, so, why don't we just put this in sleep mode, and uh, let's take a look at the system's features again, we got a mono speaker, which is pretty good for doing game, for, uh, games, we got the volume switch right here, L and R buttons, We got your game cartridge slot. Now, this really shocked me about the Nintendo 2DS. Okay, so let's load up The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Okay, so this is really shocking. So 
you load up your game, the 3DS logo is there. Um, the face buttons feel fine. The directional path feels fine. Um, now, the graphics to this game are very impressive. The graphics to this game are very impressive. So, why don't we just press A, load my file, and begin. Okay, so... Get, get anything out of this like, jar pot. Oh, crap. Get out of my face, guard. Anyway. Oh, crap, I'm running out of life. Anyway, it's a spectacular game for the 3DS. Overall. Um, yeah, so let me just close this. Okay, so, the gaming library. Um, okay, so, this is what's shocking about the games, if you ever get this thing. Okay, see, the cartridges, this is so shocking. They're gonna look like this. Holy crap. This is the exact same size. Let's compare it to it. Actually, I can't because if I pull the SD card out, then the system might crash. So this is the, about the same size as an SD card, basically. And that's very impressive. Um, see, you can see the hardware on the back. The pin connectors, all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is re I'm really impressed right now. I don't know how Nintendo did this, but wow, wow. Um. Anyway, I am so shocked about that. Um. Now the systems library. Hmm. Now if you're going up against the Nintendo Wii U, then how many Zelda titles are going to be on that thing? Well, so far there has only been one Zelda title, and this thing has five Zelda titles. Yes, I am dead serious. Five Zelda titles on this thing. Because it displays Nintendo DS games and 3DS games. Um, so that's a really cool feature as well. Um, you can also connect internet and watch some YouTube if you want, wish. Or go on to the internet browser right there. So if you want to do some internet searching of walkthroughs for games. Or do Facebook or anything like that. Um, yeah, I strongly recommend you do that. Um, now, uh, the thing is, um, one of the most unique features is, uh, about this system is, you know, the friends list. I mean, you know, I have a bunch of friends on there. Well, I only have one friends here. See, there's me. And here's my friend, Chris. He, he likes, uh playing Smash Brothers on his 3DS. And that's a really cool feature because you can connect with 2DSs and 3DSs. They're, on the, they're all on the same network, basically. So that's a really cool feature. Um, what else did I want to show you? Um, basically, I... Basically, I covered everything on the 3DS. Um, now, the gaming library. Um, 
The Wii U's game library is not very good right now. Um, the 3DS library is a very good uh, library overall. Um, now, in terms of Zelda titles on the 3DS uh, and the DS, um, you're getting... Uh, you're getting five games on this system for Zelda titles. I mean, yeah, it's it's a better gaming library than most other systems. Um, there's four Mario games, and there's two or three Mario games on the DS. I think there's three or two. I'm not sure on the on the Wii U. There's three on the Wii U, and there's four on the Nintendo D, uh, 3DS and the DS systems. So, yeah, this is a very good console, I believe, because it has all these unique features about it. And I always wanted to get a Nintendo D, uh, 3DS system, but I didn't have enough money for it. So I went out and bought this thing for like $115, and uh, The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds only, only cost 33 so that would be like $137 uh, for this thing, plus the game itself. So, I would strongly recommend this game. This game is so much fun. So much fun. I mean... This game is like a masterpiece if you're if you own a 3DS or a Nintendo 2DS. So, yeah, this game is one of the best song that's going to be on my reviews soon. Um right now I'm on th uh I've completed the second level um for this game and so far it's been a blast. Um so yeah, that's the Nintendo 2DS. Uh, it's a very comfortable system to, um, like, feet, uh, in terms of weight, it's pretty lightweight. It'll feel first. It it'll feel a little heavy when you pull it out of the box, but it it sort of grows on you when you pull it when you play on it for several hours. So. Oh yeah, size comparison. I gotta do that. Hold on. Oh yeah, the the game cartridges are the size of these. Are the size of these game cartridges. So let me put them side by side. So the game cartridges are the about as the same size as a Nintendo DS system overall so yeah that is the Nintendo D, uh, 2DS it's a very good system I highly recommend it it gets a 10 out of 10 go out, out and buy this thing right now you can also look up uh, several reviews about this thing and I'll see you guys all later and I'll be back someday someday youtubers